Hello, Svengers. It's me, Svenny McG. Now, this month, Legend of Zelda turns 35. Fantastic. And today, we're going to look at this guy here. This is the Hyrule Warrior Legends character book. Now, I got this as an exclusive from Best Buy here in Canada as a pre-order bonus, but I've seen online that uh, from Nintendo enthusiasts and others that GameStop actually had this, like, apparently in the United States. So anyway, this was exclusive to the launch of Hyrule Warrior Legends on the 3DS, and we're going to have a look inside and see what it's all about. Let's take a look. The Hyrule Warriors Legends character book. Now here's the format. I'm going to open this up and we're going to go through it page by page. And I'm going to do that to allow you to be able to pause it, appreciate the art, and to have a look at some of the text that's inside. But first, what I want to discuss is the character in here, Linkle. And let's look at this quickly. Now, back in 2014, June 2014, when Breath of the Wild was first being debuted, which at the time was being discussed as a Wii game, everyone started to question if Link was actually a female or could be chosen to be female in the game. And with that, soon when Hyrule Warriors released for the Wii U back in August 2014, this was released in Japan with a character art book. And in that character art book, there was actually images of a female Link there, Linkle. It's unknown at the time if it was going to be a separate person, if it was going to try and be Link's sister, although they say that they didn't actually want to do that because uh, Errol had been established as Link's sister over in Wind Waker. But it is kind of an interesting how this kind of transgressed because when Hyrule Warrior Legends, the same game, got ported over to the Nintendo 3DS, this is where Linkle first debuted and again that is the name of this booklet here Hyrule Warrior Legends so this was the pre-order pickup and for the sake of conversation here yes Hyrule Warriors came out on the Wii U a lot of features came over to the 3DS which then ported back to the Wii U there is a definitive version that came out on the Nintendo Switch but it's not this this is actually a separate installation Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and this is actually a prequel to this confused yet it's not that bad but that's what we're talking about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is a completely separate entry just kind of using the same engine this did this one like I said 3DS Wii U and then there is the definitive edition on the Nintendo Switch with cover art similar to this so as mentioned here's some of the character art and again this is Linkle's story to start And Linkle's powers and abilities, she uses a crossbow. And effectively, she's running around on her own adventure. You can incorporate her into the game after, but she actually has her own adventure, and that's pretty neat. Linkle concept art. This was the concept art seen from that Japanese version. And you can see she even has different hairstyles. You can see some of the sketches and beginners there. Now, another thing that the 3DS introduced was branching off into Wind Waker, and it had its own separate missions, and by purchasing on the 3DS and typing in a code, you can actually port this stuff for free back to your Wii U version, showing that you had ownership on both. That was a pretty cool feature. Now, Toon Link had quite a bit of the same abilities, but you could also use his spinner Tetra is a playable character, and again, running around, she has a pistol and she has her sword, her cutlass. And King Daphne's is shown here as well. Ripping around here, he has his sail. He's ready to go into action. And this is the back of the book. Again, you have the Triforce, you have the overall Hyrule symbol there. So there you have it. There is the book, all the internals, what it looks like, and again, came with the 3DS as a cool pre-order. Love seeing that type of stuff. Better to me than separate little skins or an outfit or something that ultimately you can probably buy in a package anyway. Something like this makes it a unique little pickup. Happy anniversary to The Legend of Zelda. 35 years. That's awesome. Can't wait to see more entries and see what else Nintendo has in store this year. I'm sure there's other things coming down the pipe that they just haven't revealed to us yet. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It always helps grow the channel. Until I see you again next time, take care. Be good to each other. Bye now.